The arts can move. Inspire and challenge us. And over the last few decades, the church has recognized this power, harnessing it to deliver the good news message of Christ. But is it only a medium for a message, or is there something more? That's a question faith leaders from around the globe pondered in 2004 at the Lausanne Forum on World Evangelization. Their findings? So, if there's more to art than evangelism, why does it seem so hard to break the mold? The, the tendency we have to think of art strictly in terms of usefulness. John Franklin was a principal writer of the Lausanne paper. Okay. Can I call you back and we, we set it to He's also head of a Christian community of artists called Imago. And having art sort of woven into ordinary life. Franklin suggests perhaps part of the problem lies in how we perceive the purpose of art. So, so we look at art and say, well, it's valuable if it can be, re be used to help people to become Christians. And, and that's, that's all right. But the problem with it is that it, it fails to acknowledge the value of art in and of itself. It's not just about what it's good for, but it's, it's about how the art expresses something about the way the world is. While a focus on salvation is important, he says it's not a complete picture. We need a more holistic understanding, and we need to move to the doctrine of creation, which says that we, as image bearers of God, are called also to be creators. And, and so art is inherently good, given that we are created in the image of God. So bearing the image of God doesn't mean our art has to be about God, at first glance anyway. But I think with the indirectness of art, it, it can provoke us to, to asking questions to thinking afresh about things and maybe can move us to actually make a difference. Tasha Hakim is using her art to make a difference here and around the world. The little boy that I was telling you about earlier, the reflection in his eyes and... The 27-year-old photographer has traveled to Jordan, Brazil, and Hawaii, capturing the many faces of social injustice. Well, just reading about social justice issues is one thing, but then when you have a photo that demonstrates or visually, um, visually demonstrates what you're talking about, it just impacts people so much more. For Tasha, her art is about bringing hope to places that are dark. Well, photography means writing with light. And so going into the dark places, writing with light, how appropriate is that? And you know, God created light in the beginning and out of darkness, he, he spoke out light. And so to go into uh, areas that are so dark and to um, even just take a picture of the environment just totally has changed my perspective. And she hopes her work will inspire others. The visual arts is very emotionally stimulating and it, it almost calls out a reaction or um, and then when you react to something you want, my hope is through my work that someone will take the next step which is action and step into what are you going to do about it. But inspiration is only part of the picture when it comes to the purpose of art. Over 600 youth tread through this busy studio every year. This is Sketch, a safe place for street-involved youth to come and create art. Things start happening in their minds, that this is a space where maybe people aren't going to ask me about my housing, um, or going to ask me what I've done lately about this, that and the other thing. But maybe it's just a place I can start to engage in a whole other side of myself. Founder and artistic director Phyllis Novak believes art can invoke change. When 
they have experienced mostly limitations and powerlessness and violence, frankly, both individually and systemically. It's so important to find a way to rebuild that story. And she says the arts allow them to do that. You see a blank piece of paper in front of you and you have some charcoal pieces. You make the decision to fill it or to leave it empty. Either way, there's an exchange between the material and yourself. Hmm. And that in and of itself gives power to young people. So sketch doesn't just invite youth off the streets. It gives them something they don't often have, a voice. Young people who live on the street are change agents. They have been able to show me and several of us, and I think just in the broader cityscape, they've been able to demonstrate that their experience is unique and it allows them to perceive things in very unique ways. Does art always have to be serious? What about art for art's sake? Mike Jansen is doing what comes naturally to him. In grade three, I decided I want my own instrument. And I sort of was a big fan of some of these, uh, the David Mises and all these people, these piano player guys, um, specifically in the Christian scene. And, uh, and so I, I thought, well, they play piano. I, I need to start playing piano. Now an accomplished composer and musician, Jansen has scored a collection of songs recently played by Steve Bell and the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. While it's certainly hard work, for the most part, art is something he simply enjoys. God has placed signs of himself everywhere um, in life. And to me, art is a direct, um, direct reflection of that, of beauty, of joy, of excitement, glorious, all these things. Um, it's an exact representation. Music is his calling. I think I can use that. And it's also been a refuge. Music is often described as a musician's best therapy. Um, instead of, you know, going to a counselor, sometimes we can just write a song. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. So, for Jansen, being an image bearer isn't something forced. It's part of who he is everywhere he goes. Um, and for me, it's been a huge um, way of expressing things either I'm learning in life, um, through people, um, through God teaching me things, um, through people who are poor. It's, it's been a huge just way of learning. Inspiration, empowerment, and enjoyment. It seems the purpose of art goes deeper than we think. Tomorrow, we envision a future. We've said we're going to err on the side of freedom and creativity and beauty, and so we said to the artists, go for it. And find some challenges along the way. But there's no art, art being taught in the church. <laughs>